I've copied these thumbnails with AI much faster, cheaper, and better than a real thumbnail designer can do for less than 25 cents. YouTubers like Iman Gutsy, Jenny Hoyles, and Mr. Beast spent anywhere from $300 to $10,000 per thumbnail. But unfortunately, most creators simply cannot afford that. And for years, it has been an unfair game when it comes to YouTube. Because it becomes super hard to beat the algorithm if you have a low budget available to you. If you have a bad thumbnail, then that also means that your video is less likely to rank in search. Because think about it, big creators with massive budgets are spending a shit ton of money trying to optimize their thumbnail for the algorithm, while you're still playing around with the shitty Canva thumbnail. And let's be honest, you're not gonna beat them. But thanks to AI, the playing field is now leveled. With AI, you can not only copy the most popular thumbnails in your own exact style, but you can also create entire new thumbnails based on just one prompt. And I hear you thinking, why do you care so much about the thumbnail? The truth is, YouTube doesn't treat every video equally. When you first upload a video, YouTube shows it to a small number of people. And if during those first crucial hours, people don't click on it, then YouTube stops promoting it. Which which means that the video that you spend days on, like you have invested all of your hard time, is all for nothing. It doesn't matter how good your video is, if your click-through rate is bad, then your video will never go viral, ever. Now, and that is the exact reason why big creators are spending a lot of time and money on making good thumbnails. They know literally that their thumbnail is the reason their video will be a complete failure or an absolute success. So how do we compete as a small creator with the big dogs, like Mr. Beast, Imagatsi, and Ryan Trayan? Well, simply said, you don't. That's why you steal from them. You steal from them like an artist. Now, there are multiple ways you can do this. First, you can learn how to use Photoshop and you can do it yourself. Second, you can pay a thumbnail designer between $50 to $300 to do make a thumbnail for you. Or third, you learn how to leverage AI and you can copy or create any type of thumbnail that you can imagine. But Dan, AI can never be as good as a real thumbnail designer. Shut up, Karen. Just take a look at this. This is ChatGPT recreating this thumbnail. It looks decent, right? But what if I told you that this tool that you might have never heard of does a way better job than ChatGPT can ever do? This is called Pixels AI. And with their new version, you can copy any type of thumbnail that you want. You can face swap your original face and put your face or anyone else's face on there. And you can use text to thumbnail. For example, I made this thumbnail right here and I haven't done any editing in Photoshop, Canva or anything, just using pixels. Now, here's how it works. First, you want to head over to the link in the description down below and then you want to use my link to get pixels for $1 for the first month only. Now, with it, you can try it out and you can play around with it and you can make around 150 thumbnails a month. There are actually three ways to create your thumbnail. So the first one is by using the prompt. This is literally prompt to thumbnail. The next one is using the recreate feature. Now here you can link any type of YouTube video. You can add in an image of your own or anyone else, and then you can recreate those thumbnails. And the last one is to face swap existing thumbnails with your own face or someone else's face. Let's start off easy. What I do here is I simply give it my prompt. Earth in space, crack down the middle, one side lush and green, the other side is scorched and on fire. Now, we don't do anything else, we can just click on generate. Now, this usually takes like less than a minute and then you got your thumbnail like this. This already looks quite insane. So what we can now do is with the new version of 3.0 is make sure you have this one enabled, by the way. So this is version 3.0. Then with that version, what we can do is we can edit or thumbnail. So now we click on edit. And here what you can do is you can use the rectangle selection. Now we select a part of our thumbnail and now we can add anything. For example, we can say, add in bright, bold, white text saying, this is our future. So let's make it a bit dramatic. So now we click on generate. And now in this section, it will start generating this text. So now we just wait again and then you get a thumbnail like this. This is quite insane. So no Photoshop needed, no Canva needed. All can be done in this platform simply by prompting it. So yeah, this is quite cool already, but let me tell you this. This is just the basic of what is possible with this tool. So now let's get a little bit more advanced. So we're gonna start up a new chat, then make sure you have model three enabled. Then we're gonna go back. And within this new version, you have personas and you have styles. So what does mean with personas? You can literally train this model to add in thumbnail pictures of your own. Just take a look at this. You add in all kinds of images of yourself. 
So I, for example, have a folder where I add in 10 images of myself, then you give it a name, and then you have made your own character or your own persona within pixels. So you can do this for anyone, basically. So I have it on my own. I have it on Kevin Hart, Sydney Sweeney, Cristiano Ronaldo. So now let's do Kevin Hart, for example. What I can then do is I can pick styles. And styles is quite insane because you can literally get the exact style that you want based on other thumbnails. So for example, what I want is I can go to YouTube, then I want to have the Magnets Media style. So he has quite a unique style to his thumbnails. Basically what I can do is I can just click on his videos, I can download his thumbnails, and then what I do is I go back, then I click on styles and I click on create, and here I upload all the images that I have, or I select his YouTube channel. So for example, here I can upload a few images. So it will be this one, this one, and this one. And then I open it, give it a name, and then I click on generate. Now I have already done that, so I have Magnus Media right here. So now I have Kevin Hart's persona, and I have Magnus Media style. Then I have to just add in my prompt. So I have a person in the middle is Kevin Hart and he has like money flying around him with a red glow and whatever. So then I click on generate and now I have a thumbnail like this. Now this is quite crazy because the text scammed is like behind him. The money is flying everywhere. He has a red glow to him. It's quite literally in the style of Magnets Media. And you can train this as in-depth as you want. I only use three images to create this style. Now we can do this again with a different style. For example, let's do a Mr. B style. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new chat. Then I'm gonna add in the persona. So for this one, I'm actually gonna use Sydney Sweeney. Then for the styles, I'm gonna use Mr. Beast because I created that style. And then for the prompt, I'm gonna do this prompt right here, which I got off ChatGPT. It's basically Sydney Sweeney being stranded on a tropical island. Then I just hit generate, and now I get an image like this. As you can see, we have Sydney stranded on a tropical island. She's just surviving. The only thing that it didn't quite do was stranded for seven days. But I got a way to fix that. So basically what you do is you click on edit, you select the part where you want to have the text, and let's do add in big white bold text saying day seven. So here we have the new version with the text added day seven compared to the first version. It has done a pretty great job. Now this is just a service level because adding in text is really simple. But what you can also do is you can select a small part of her arm, for example, and then I can say add blood and scars. And now it's gonna add that into the image. So let's take a look. We now have a bloody shoulder and this makes it look a lot cooler. So that is Pixels 3.0. You use that for your thumbnail and when you use prompt to thumbnail, because with it, you can add in styles and you can change persona. But now let me show you how Recreate works. Now Recreate is super powerful, but for this version, what you want to do is you want to click here and you want to use the Model 2. Now let's use Model 2 right there. Then we click on Recreate and now we can enter in any type of thumbnail. So you can either download the thumbnail or you can copy it from a YouTube video. So I got Mr. Beast right here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on share Then I'm gonna copy his link right there. Now I'm gonna bring it over to pixels, paste it in here, and then we have the inspiration weight. What this exactly means, I will explain to you in a minute, but for now, let's put it on high. So then you click on persona, let's add in my persona, and then we click in generate. So now we have copied Mr. Beast exact thumbnail. So here's the original and here's my thumbnail. Now this is on high inspiration rate. Now if you put this to medium, then it will like lower the rate that it looks similar to the original thumbnail. So if I click on medium right there, then you will see I get a thumbnail like this. Now if I then click on low, then it will be even lower looking similar to Mr. Beast. So then I get a thumbnail like this. So this gives you three different versions, depending on how much you want your thumbnail to look similar to Mr. Beast thumbnails. Keep in mind, you don't have to do this with Mr. Beast. Here, for example, is an example of Iman Gatsi. This is the original, and here is my version. As you can see, it works perfectly. Now, the only thing that it didn't do is add in an arrow in between. So what I can actually do is I click on edit, and then I just prompt it, add a dotted white line behind me from $0 to 1 million. Then I just click on generate, and then I get this version right here. And this is all done in this own platform. I haven't done anything weird. This is all like the original thing, all generated using pixels. To give you more ideas and inspiration, here's an Ali Abdal thumbnail and here's my version. Here's this other thumbnail with the books, which I like a lot. And here's my version on it. Like I can literally recreate these thumbnails and they still have their own kind of twist to it. How that exactly works, I will come to later. 
but honestly, the results with this have been quite amazing. So for example, here we have this jacked guy, and this is the thumbnail that I made, but I just dislike the tattoo. So what I simply do is I say, remove the tattoo, and now I get this version, and honestly, it looks quite like me. I'm just in real life, I'm just as jacked. To be honest, it doesn't really matter what type of thumbnail you have. For example, here we have PewDiePie, and here we have my version of PewDiePie's thumbnail. So yeah, I can literally be on any thumbnail with this. Now, I already hear you thinking, would this get me in trouble if I copy other people's thumbnail? So that's an interesting thought, because if you look at all the most popular YouTube creators, for example, Mr. Beast, they have been copying each other like an other proven to work concept for a while now. And they put their own twist on it and it still works. Like I've never seen someone actually get in trouble with thumbnails. So I will just explain to you why this works so well. So for example, here we have this Trange vs. Giant Pit video. This video literally got 167 million views. Mr. Beast was looking at that and he was like, oh, if that works, then let me just copy it. So he made his own version, almost the exact same thumbnail. He just added his face on it and a different train. And if you think it doesn't happen more often, like let's take a look at this one. So here we have Mr. Beast again, and now someone is copying Mr. Beast. So here we have this Russian version of Mr. Beast, and he just has the exact same thumbnail he just face swapped his own faces and his friends faces on this thumbnail. And this guy has been doing that with a lot of different thumbnails. Just take a look at this thumbnail. Like, doesn't that get familiar? Don't you see like Ryan Trayan in this? Like that's literally what all YouTubers do. They take inspiration from one YouTuber. They see that their concept is proven to work. They copy that concept, slightly change it, which is exactly what Pixels do does for you. And then they upload their own version. For example, this thumbnail right here is an exact copy of this thumbnail. And here we have these creators copying each other with the exact same concept of the sleeping capsule hotel. So they see it works and then they just copy it. But the unique thing with Pixels is that it makes its own version. You might look at these thumbnails and think it's an exact copy, but actually, let's just take five seconds. Can you spot all of the differences that you see between these two thumbnails? Do you now understand me? It's not an exact copy of your thumbnail. It's just, not just simply like face swapped. It is a slightly different version of the original thumbnail. Now, the crazy thing is AI generated thumbnails have been around ever since like ChatGPT got released. Ever since we had the first image generator, people have been trying to create thumbnails generators. But there isn't one tool as good as Pixels is. Let me show you why. For example, I got this thumbnail right here by Brand Rivera. And if I take a look at all the popular AI thumbnails generators that are out there, which is vidIQ and ChatGPT, then here's what I generated with vidIQ. Honestly, I've tried multiple times, but this is the best it can do. Now here's what I generated with ChatGPT. And the thing is, I actually gave it the same amount of references of my own face, but it just couldn't do it. Even when I took my own face and put a different prompt in it, tried to face swap it, it still made a version that just didn't look like me. So then I tried it in Pixels, I put in his thumbnail, then I put in my persona, and then I got this version. Honestly, there's no other tool out there right now that is as good as Pixels is. Unfortunately, it's not perfect though, because if we take a look at this thumbnail, uh, which is a pretty great concept, I tried to face swap it, and because it has multiple different faces on it, it face swapped all of the faces with my face. Just take a look at all of these girls, like, does that face look familiar to you? So yeah, in this case, I would still use Photoshop to just cut out myself, put me in this original thumbnail, and then I have this copy. But honestly, Pixels it has been quite impressive. So that is the only downside of Pixels. It cannot do multiple phases right now, but I'm sure in the future it can. And if you want to know something crazy, like take a look at these videos on my YouTube channel. These thumbnails have been generated using Pixels. Now this video, for example, is already performing quite good. So what I did is I put the thumbnail into Pixels and then I got this version. So then I re-uploaded a new video on my YouTube and this video got an insane amount of views and a really high click-through rate. Honestly, if you're not ready to start using this type of technology, then you will be left behind because this is much cheaper to use, it is much faster and you can create multiple thumbnails easily. Right now, AI is at the point where it's becoming better or as good as a real life human. If you don't leverage this now, then you will not only fall behind, but you will also miss out on a ton of views. Because being able to test your thumbnail, change your thumbnail quickly, and also make different versions is a lot better than just having one version that you paid 50 bucks for that doesn't perform. So if you want to try this out yourself, then I will leave my special link to Pixels in the description down below. If you use my link or my discount code, then you get the first month for just $1. And this allows you to generate up to 150 thumbnails in that month. So be sure to use it 
fast before it runs out. Now, if you want to learn how to write the best scripts for your YouTube videos now that you already have gotten your thumbnail, then check out the video that's on the screen right now and I will teach you exactly how you can use this YouTube system to build the best scripts for your YouTube videos.